Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn the calculation of standard deviation in case of discrete series. You have learned the calculation in case of individual series. Now next is discrete series and these are the steps what you are supposed to follow while calculating standard deviation. There are three methods of calculating standard deviation. One is direct method, second is indirect method and third is step deviation method. So there are three methods. So we will take one by one. First is direct method. These are the steps when you are calculating standard deviation by direct method in the case of discrete series. First determine mean of the series. Direct method is the method in which you are taking out the deviations from actual mean, not the zoom mean, but the actual mean. In case of indirect method, we take out the deviations from a zoom mean. So, in the direct method, you have to take out deviation from actual mean. So, first thing is determine mean of the series. Series means the given data. Whatever data is given to you, you have to take out the actual mean. You have to calculate actual mean and then calculate x minus x bar. That means x bar is the actual mean. Now deviations are taken out by following this method x minus x bar is equal to d. These are the deviations from mean and calculate d x square. So when you calculate d, then this is d or d x and then make a square of it and then it becomes d x square. Right? Third is multiply with corresponding frequencies. This d x square you will multiply each figure with the corresponding frequency. Corresponding means whichever is given in front of it. So corresponding frequencies are used to multiply d x square and we get sigma f d x square because we have multiplied d x square with frequency. So, it will be f d x square when you do the total of it that will be sigma f d x square. After getting this apply the formula. This is the sign for standard deviation. Standard deviation is equal to sigma f d x square upon n. n is the total number of frequency or sigma f. So, this formula under root because you are taking out the standard deviation you have to find out the under root of sigma f d x square upon n or standard deviation is equal to sigma f in bracket x minus x bar because you know d x is x minus x bar. So, square of it that is sigma d x square sigma f is here another form d x you are explaining as x minus x bar. So, sigma f d x square upon n that will give you standard deviation. Right? Now, we will take an example. This is the data given to you x and f. x column is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Frequency that is f is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Here frequency is given because this is the case of discrete series in which frequencies are always given. So, x is this much and f given as 14641. Now, for solution as you have to calculate these values, you will follow particular steps and make different columns accordingly. This x column and f column this will be always first two columns you will copy down the data. x as it is given to you write down here, f column as it is given to you write down here. Clear? Now, you have to find out actual mean this is the first step and for actual mean you know the formula is x bar is equal to sigma f x upon n. So, this is clear that you have to calculate f x. 
x is given to you, f is given to you, multiply both the columns and you will get f x do the total and divided by n. So, f x here is this multiply by this 2 into 1 is 2, 4 into 4 is 16, 6 into 6 is 36, 8 into 4 is 32, 10 into 1 is 10. This will give you f x and the total is 96 that is sigma f x. Now, after calculating mean or after getting these calculations done, find out the mean x bar is sigma f x upon sigma f. Here, sigma f x is 96, f sigma f or n is 16. So, x bar is equal to 6. 96 divided by 16 is equal to 6. This is your mean x bar. Now, next step is you have to take out the deviations. Deviations are x minus x bar. x bar you have calculated that is 6. x is this x minus x bar that will be 2 minus 6 that is minus 4, 4 minus 6 x minus 6, 4 minus 6 is minus 2, 6 minus 6 is 0, 8 minus 6 will be 2, 10 minus 6 will be 4. So, you will calculate dx column that is x minus x bar. Now, next step is calculate dx square. This is clear dx is this and dx square will be square of each item 4 into 4 is 16 and is minus will become plus minus 4 into minus 4 is plus 16. Then minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4, 0, 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 4 is 16. So, you are making square of these and you get these figures. Now, next step is your formula says sigma f d x square, d x square you have done. Now, you need f d x square. How will you get it? d x square this column and f multiply these two columns then you get f d x square because d x square is already given here and f is here multiply these two columns to get f d x square and 1 into 16 is 16, 4 into 4 is 16, 6 into 0 is 0, 4 into 4 is 16, this is sorry this is 16, 4 into 4 is 16 and 1 into 16 is 16 and the total is 64, right. Now, when you have got the total of these columns, now apply the form, apply the formula formula is s d is equal to sigma f d x square upon n n is the same as i told you n or sigma f so this is the formula sigma f d x square is 64 write down 64 here n is 16 write down 16 here divide it you get 4 under root under root of 4 is 2 and this is your standard deviation, right. So, first you have to calculate the values, put the right formula and do the calculation, right. Then coefficient of standard deviation is standard deviation upon mean. Standard deviation is 2, mean was 6, 2 upon 6 and this will be your coefficient of standard deviation. I think it is clear to you. So, this way in the case of discrete series, if we apply the direct method, we have to apply this formula that is the same one and get the values and do the calculation, answer will never be wrong. Okay. So, this is one of the method you have done. Now, next is indirect method. Indirect method is the method in which deviations are taken out of assumed mean, 
right. So, indirect method size and frequency this is the data given to you. Now, let us see how do we do the calculation. Now, here solution you have to make first size and frequency x column this is size column frequency you will note down in the same order here first two columns then you have to assume certain value from x column as mean. Here in the central value is either 4 or 5. So, I have taken 5 over here this is assume mean we are assuming 5 as mean 1 minus 5 d is equal to x minus a and a is 5. So, 1 minus 5 x minus a is 1 minus 5 minus 4 2 minus 5 minus 3 3 minus 5 minus 2 